pop the balloon to reject the girl. My name is Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old. And I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. So you only like and me because I'm beautiful. It was when he said, I'm a doctor, and you see her eyes, her eyes jump. Boy, them joints lit up. High volume, man. Hey, you know how, like, them little them cartoons and you see dollar signs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she saw. Yeah. That's where she fucked up at. He rejects a woman during a speed dating game, and this is the reason why. Let's get at it. Got my phone ringing, man. Now just let Jay kick this out way. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. this jump podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Where's my? Yeah, hit that button right here. I know G. I know G. Be waiting. G. I mean, G. Let's yeah. Pop the balloon to reject the girl. My name's Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old, and I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. Ooh. I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. So you only like and me because I'm beautiful. Just like oh. I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but that's not why I would only I'm like beautiful. you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability, you right. can't add anything to my life. Right. Oh. I'm beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, damn it. I'm going to kick this one off first. <laughs> Where she fucked up at was when he said... I'm a doctor, and you see her eyes, her eyes jump. Boy, them joints lit up. High volume, man. Hey, you know how like them little them cartoons and you see dollar signs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she saw. Yeah. That's where she fucked up at. <laughs> yeah, hey. Again, he baited her and she took the bait. He said I'm telling you, once he saw once he saw her eyes lit light up like that, he was like, oh no. Nah, but he yeah. said to her, he said she, he, he said, I uh, simply chose to pop the balloon because you were too young. She thought that that young that he was talking about was age. Mm -hmm. He was talking about mindset. Right, yep. And then you could tell she, he threw the bait out there and she took it. Because when he said, um, you're too young, and she said, uh, well, he said, no, I, I wouldn't date you because you're young. And she said, she said, I'll, well, I'll, uh, if, I'll, I'll be open if you're still interested. And he said, why? And she said, because you're beautiful. And he said, well, see, that's the thing. I wouldn't date you only because you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because he knew, I want to hear something. Mm -hmm. You talking about all the exterior stuff. So, again, right. you heard Dr. Cha-Ching. Yep. So, you got, you, you, yeah, that you lost thing your mind up. here. And then, he's a handsome brother. So, he's, a, he's probably got, you know, the 666. He's over six foot, which you can tell. He's got the six. So, the, that whole tall, dark, he's, and handsome. He's, got, he's probably got the six the pack because he looks in shape. And the, I, the other one I ain't talking about because that's some his main parts and I ain't getting into that. <laughs> no, six figures is the the, the first one. The six foot six uh -huh. figures and yeah. six inches. Because oh, okay. if you'd have said other part, I'd have been like, yeah, that's oh, why. Oh, I, yeah, I ain't getting into that. So it's like he was waiting to see if she if she had any substance and everything was the materialistic the, and the the superficial stuff. Yeah. Right. And so yep. she play herself. And the one thing that. I love about this brother is one which is something I have to work on is he was calm. Mm -hmm. He never yep. was like I don't care like he wasn't cocky. Mm -hmm. He wasn't, you know, uh what they call to toxic masculinity. He mm -hmm. had none of those yeah. traits. He just was like, "No, I wouldn't do that." Exactly. X Y and Z. So it was like you you could see right there the difference in mindset. The maturity level. He was right. like, yeah. "Listen, I'm looking for something and you just don't have it." And again, she's a beautiful girl. But that's not all. That's women think that that's that is the crux of why men choose women. No, that's the that's our initial a attraction. But mature, grown men, right. they ain't liking you just because mm -hmm. you cute. Like he said, what value that's do you bring? That, that's like okay, yeah, I meet I meet a guy. Yeah, he could be handsome, mm -hmm. but then I, by the time I have a conversation with you, and then you sound like an airhead. No, I'm sorry, I can't I can't do this. But see, women are a little bit different. Women will take the I don't want to say uglier, but the the more non-attractive man up front, if they feel that the value or the stuff that he's given off emotionally, she likes. Whereas us, we might still have a conversation with you or rock with you, but the physical has to be there. You can't be to us because we're physical. You know, we're visual. It has to be there first. Women are a little bit different. So if those roles was reversed, if she was the doctor and he was the man, I mean, he was the, the younger person, 
She might have yeah. like took into him. Right, let me see where this goes so you're first. You saying that women is, they settle for dating not ugly, settle ugly men not settle because but, they're because they're nice. But no, attraction is not number one normally on women's list. It's more attraction emotionally Mental or stimulation. Yeah, like in, like inside. Right. Women go because I know a lot of women that, and this was like a revelation to me. A lot of women I know that was they'll say. Well, you know, I'll, I'll take a guy that's, you know, he don't have to be handsome. He don't have to be that's like him. an eight or nine look, because I'm, they, they're yeah, looking. But you got to have some kind of attraction. Cause right. I want to, I want to be at least right. be able to enjoy what the hell I'm looking right. at. Right. But whereas men, you have to have like that real attraction. If you were four, is uh, you could be the nicest person in the world, but as a four, it's like nah. We already know from the rip. Like I entertain you, and I and again, like yeah. I said earlier, but now, I smash yeah, but, but what's a four? What's a, everybody's rating is different. So what's a four? So uh, so it's based off the sexual marketplace. It's what your value is as oh, a so whole. A sexual there is, and a lot of women don't understand that because if you ever ask a woman, <laughs> uh, what you rate yourself? See? Marketplace, baby. Hey. Mo most women uh, rate themselves eight, nine, ten. Cool. That's your self assessment. But when you go out into the marketplace, if the men only see you First as a four, all, I'm not an item that can be shopped. But it's not about item. It's not item. It's but, just. But I'm saying based yeah, on but, how you're saying because you're saying marketplace. But like uh, how you say a marketplace makes me feel like okay, like I'm a item that you can buy. I'm not something that can be bought. No, it's not about buying. But again, women don't understand that the dating pool, however you want to call it, mm -hmm. is competition. It's, you're competing, mm -hmm. so you you have to have some type of value because again, I use some extremes and. I hate to use these people, but I'm just going to use it. Nia Long, she has a different type of value than the girl, uh, what's her name, Gabare Sidibe? Precious. Okay. And again, Gabare didn't give herself that value. The marketplace did. When you think about the average of men, they'll be like, mm, she's all right. Or I say, I'll use Lizzo. Everybody <laughs> uses her. Lizzo. Okay, Lizzo, she's cool, but are you, if you uh, surveyed 100 men. Yeah, but so you, you just chose... Oh. One one chick that was like fit, which is Nia Long, and then the other two people you just chose or selected are a little bit on the heavier side. But so does it have to do with the person's weight? Is that what you're saying? It's just attractiveness. What okay. with the with the mass. So why see? does somebody weight or size have to do with their attractiveness? Because, because there are heavy women that are beautiful. But guess what? That is true. And then there are slim women that are ugly as hell. That is true. But, it, but what a lot of women don't understand is a lot of a lot of women see stuff from the exception and not the rule. The majority of men are going to say Nia Long is beautiful. That's the majority. Mm -hmm. Whereas the majority of men, they, they might say Lizzo is beautiful, but she's not as attractive as Nia Long. And again, it, it probably has to big do with size. There are some beautiful big women. So hey, I'll Marie. take that out. You could say somebody like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, I don't want to say somebody's unattractive, but I'm just trying to think of somebody who's yeah. just not as attractive as somebody else and they could be in so the is same that, is that your perception because somebody else can think something else hey what y'all what y'all think but so for y'all men that's out here listening does the physical attraction come first for you but wait samuel said wait a second. i have said the people who are not the most attractive are the happiest as physical attraction can only go so far which is true right which is true the all-around personality mentality count when being with someone correct mm -hmm. right but with men, we're visual. So our first attraction is her physical attribute. Now, now, look, now, that's what Samuel said. Now, I know, I, I know men who are just the big girl lovers. I do too. Yeah. But again, that's the exception. That's the exception. That's not the rule. The majority of men don't want to. <laughs> uh, again, the majority of men don't want a five hundred pound woman. I, okay. I'm not using Liz. I'm just saying. Oh. I'm just saying in general. Okay. If you if you survey a hundred men. And you ask them, would you go, mm -hmm. would you, would you, uh, go out and search for a 500 pound woman? The majority of them are going to say no. Cause it's just not, it's just not an attractive person. I'm not I trying know, to be smart. I've seen quite a few guys with, yeah. with, with big girls. Have you yeah, seen I've that? Seen have you seen that? But again, have you seen that in the majority? That's not the majority. I mean, see, this is one thing. I don't really pay attention to other people in their relationships. I pay attention to me. See, so I got to worry about me and but, whoever I'm with. Right. But and again, I, I'll use me. I'm five for seven. 
Mm-hmm. Los is over six foot. <laughs> big girls need love too. Yeah, and again, this is not this is not a shot to to big girls. So I use men. Yeah, I'm five foot seven. Los is over six foot. I know that most women are going to be drawn to him first because of his height. You know why? Because the majority of women like height. It's just a thing. It's not like somebody I'm making this up. It is a thing. Women like height. So I know for a fact that at the end of the day, he's going to be more attractive in the marketplace than me because simply because of his height. And it I'm, just is what it is. And, and I'm going to let y'all women know right now. You only getting about a good 30 strokes at oh, my age. Wow. Right? You better make use of it. <laughs> I'm going to give you some of the best 30 strokes Woo. in your life. Lord, I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> Claren- What's his name? Clarence. He be stroking. I'm going to give you some of the best 30 in your life. Woo. Yeah, man. Dave, you got that good wop wop. What would you might get 15? Just okay. constantly keep using my toy. You my, might have my, to. My toy is going to keep them batteries on. Keep, keep them batteries no, on no, deck. No, no. So listen, the the if I was you, the ones with the batteries you, don't do the good work. It's the ones that recharge. They, you better have that car battery by your bedside. <laughs> so listen, you can jumpstart that motherfucker. How about you mix them? Do a little hybrid. <laughs> yeah. Are you stroking with that thing? <laughs> yeah, now you really didn't. You don't want Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to let you know right now. This ain't no goddamn marathon race. <laughs> You gonna get these motherfucking these twenty pumps? Listen, listen. listen. My ego listen. is my pride is too. Uh, I'm, I'm, Man, my pride went out when I turned not forty. Me. <laughs> when I not, turned forty, I that pride, that pride left. I'm too. That pride I'm, left the I'm too afraid. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna <laughs> have me in the group chat. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I'm giving out work. I'm sorry. Look, look listen. Me. I'm a, like, girl. Guess what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I done went through her phone. What the hell? I'm look. I'm gonna tell you. I be like, listen here, baby. You come when I come. Or you come when I come back. First but of I'm letting you know right now. First of all, can you even handle a round two to come back? Well, I can't speak for everybody else. I'm you better wake me up. Wake you up. Yeah. I'll be in the shower and you'll just hear it buzzing. Damn. Listen, let me give some of you older gentlemen. A, uh, uh, I'm going to give you all a gem. When you get, first of all, don't don't stop trying to do it at one o'clock in the morning. Y'all too old for that. Can we do it. We First are too old that's for some women to you know, Unless you got like little, little kids who you got to put to sleep. If you ain't got that, stop doing it at 1230. Because <laughs> once you bust that nut, you're asleep. So this is what you do. Try okay, to start at 10. I make up in the, in the middle of the night. So, uh, that, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, we that's can all good, we can yeah. all recover with that. Yeah. So what you do is. Because I, 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 I can take a nap. So this I is what you do. <laughs> this is what I you do. <laughs> at 10 o'clock, bust it down at 10 o'clock. Do not get in the bed. Go downstairs. Do some push-ups or something to kind of get your <laughs> adrenaline. Don't lay back down, because once you lay down, you're done. <laughs> and then, I don't know, get on your computer, try to do some work. As soon as you start feeling a little tired again around like 11.30, 11.45, then go back in the bed. And here's the real gem. Put your mouth on her first so you can get her out of there with your mouth. And then dive in. I'm, hey, I'm trying hey, to get y'all hey, the secrets. Hey, bro, 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 stop, stop, stop letting the women know our secrets, bro. I mean, I'm just saying. For the all, if any man that's on here knows how to satisfy a woman, that ain't no damn secret. I know. No, but, you, secret? but you get them out the way first. Right. You, you, tight, you, you tighten them up. Tighten yeah, them let's up. Let's just say you, you got a woman that just has like high stamina. Oh, we, oh we got a problem. I don't. I ain't out that. Now listen, let me tell you something, baby. This ain't no goddamn armed robbery. Listen. Sometimes y'all gotta meet y'all match. A battery ain't no woman running on my electric bill. First of that's all, that's why you gotta I have that say. goddamn car battery by the bedside. First of all, that's why I said <laughs> that's what, it ain't nothing about no batteries. Rechargeable. They have listen, rechargeable fellas. toys. Get you some okay? ginseng. What's that stuff called? Tongue cat Ali. <laughs> get whatever you gotta get, bro. But listen, don't. That be, is the worst. Trying to use a door listen. cell battery and then you be right there and then it starts. Going or listen, slow. fellas, this is my, like, this is my last. And I was right there. This is my last look, gem. Look, Put one of them things look, on the on the. Uh, the last thing I say is, if you ain't got the goddamn battery, boy, you better get them forearms to working. No, I you, put one of them dilly dallies on the drill. <laughs> she'll be out of there quick. <laughs> oh right, listen, you know we're goddamn fool, man. Hey, listen, make sure you leave a comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Make sure y'all subscribe and share this joint, goddamn. <laughs>